Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie, and today's reading is August 23rd from the Each Day New Beginning. And there's Lilac, Lilac Moon. You can see her. This is a mirror, so you can see her. She's on the bed. Sometimes you might be able to see her. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get reading. I need it. How about you guys? How are you doing? Okay, so it starts off with a quote from Mira Kom Komorowski. Mira Komorowski. And it says, where our knowledge of human relationships a hundredfold more reliable than it is now, it would still be foolish to seek ready-made solutions for problems of living in the index of a book. Looking for ready-made solutions for problems of living in a book. Let me see, you know, like this could be um, said, looking for solutions for a, pro for a problem of living like in a Google search, you know, looking for that. Hmm. Let's see where it is. So the problems each of us experience have within their own parameters, the solutions most fitting. And we each must discover those solutions, understand their appropriateness and absorb them into the body of information that defines who we are and who we are becoming. We learn exp experientially because only then is our reality significantly affected. Yeah, other experiences are helpful to our growth and affirm how similar is our own pain. But each of us must make our own choices. Each of us must take responsible action in our own behalf. So how fortunate that we are now in a position to make healthy decisions about relationships. No longer the victim. We have the personal power to choose how we want to spend our time and with whom. Through active participation in all our relationships, we can discover many of the hidden elements in our own natures and develop more fully all the characteristics unique to our personhood. Our growth as recovering people is enhanced in proportion to our sincere involvement within the relationships we've chosen. So I can inform myself about who I am within my relationships. Therein lie the solutions to my problems. Let that sink in a little bit. I learn experientially because only then is my reality significantly affected. through experience. Beware <laughs> of those who lack experience, right? And in, in certain situations, by, by delving out um, guidance, like someone who thinks that they know how to solve all the problems, right? So why would we listen to them? You know, why would we even share? You know, like when you want to share your um, your fourth step with someone, you know, AKA fifth step, you know, by sharing your, um, your shortcomings, you want to share that with someone who has um, related similar experiences. Right. 
Um, not someone who's going to give you suggestions that they have no idea. You know, like if they can't relate, then you're not, that, those aren't the people you discuss it with. Um, so how do you find people? You um, can, if you aren't already in meetings, um, you know, going to meetings that maybe you can eventually find a sponsor, someone who you can trust. Um, also, um, you can, um, I don't know, I may be getting off topic here, but um, the problems, um, for instance, for me, the problems I experience um, have, I've noticed in my experience, have within them um, solutions that will fit for me because I, you know, I'm living and experiencing my life. So if I can keep that track on and um, not be hard on myself about it um, and just keep it, keep it level uh, emotionally, um, then I can, I can find a way when I can, um, you know, I don't have to Google it. I don't have to read about it. I can maybe connect with my, um, with my higher power. I can pray about it. I can meditate on it. I can think about it. I can write and journal about it. I can go to a meeting. I can read. Um, I can call my sponsor. I feel disconnected sometimes when I, when I just feel like, you know, I need to reconnect with, with um, my people in the group. Because, you know, right when along, everything seems to be going pretty well. And then I get this ripping feeling in my heart. Like, I just, knowing that I can't um, reach, you know, like maybe a teenager. <laughs> and, um, and I see the teenager... Um, maybe getting into the grips of relying on outside things to, um, you know, maybe like to get attention or to like get through their own thing because they, they lack discipline or, uh, you know, and, um, and you're, you try to help um, because of your experience, but um, they're not, willing to um accept that and um you know i um need to surrender to that and just you know i don't know sometimes i just i really don't know what to do and um i know that i'm powerless over so many things and and um i could just you know do my best that's all i can do um i'm gonna learn through experience and um, where the quote, I'm going to read the quote again, where it says, were our knowledge of human relationships a hundredfold more reliable than it is now, it would still be foolish to seek ready-made solutions for problems of living in the index of a book. You know, I've realized there are no ready-made solutions. And um, worrying only takes my day down. Stuff will happen regardless um, whether or not I want them to or not. But um, knowing that, what can I do for myself to find some serenity and peace? And um, maybe just being there is all I can do at this point. So, yeah, I think starting um, starting a new um, starting a new schedule is stressful, right? 
and how to, to start that again, you know, like starting school again or starting a new job or starting like the day, just, I'll just keep it as simple as that. Starting a new day can be stressful. And how do I start a day when I'm feeling stressed? I have tools to say what I'm grateful for and to just put my foot in front of the other and do the next right thing and show up the best I can and um, find things to do that are outside of me where I can serve or participate in asking someone what I can do for them or being there, being aware of what I can do to be helpful and serve. So this way I can get out of my own self and get through the hours of work, pay attention, see what the goals are, write the lists, do my job, and then come home and then do that job, which is make sure that they're fed, make sure that the electric and all that stuff and, you know, ask them how their day went and um, hope that, you know, that they showed up for their day. And if not, you know, just do my best to encourage and inspire. And um, if that doesn't work, you know, I don't know what else to do, really. Um, setting boundaries and um, and uh, yeah, there are boundaries within like schools where they, um, you know, like if someone doesn't show up to their class, then they get, um, you know, they don't get the grade, they don't get the credits. So then it'll take that much longer to, you know, keep going. And, you know, what does that mean? To be determined, it'll go as it goes. And um, I just want to be able to know that they're going to be okay. And I don't know what that looks like. So anyway, just kind of, you know, like when you, when you, when you love someone and they um, seem to, to not, um, I don't know, maybe that's a search for help or search for or attention or something. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm kind of all over the place here, but um, it's something I'm going to pray about. And if, um, if you're so called to share, I appreciate it. And um, yeah, sometimes it's just, it's a hard day with family, right? I just want them to be able to be self-sufficient and happy and, to do the best they can in their life. And um, yes, I worry about it. And I don't want my day to be taken down and I don't want to stay up all night about it, but I do want to try to figure out what I can do. Anyway, all right. Let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer. It's like the last few, um, few hours of the moon in... Scorpio, which that's where mine is, and it's pretty, you know, like powerful and edgy and um, obsessive, and um, so um, just how are you doing with that? You know, it's pretty sensitive and um, serious. It's pretty serious. <laughs> so. All right, let's say the serenity prayer together. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change. Can't change other people, places, things outside of us. Can't change anybody's actions, or maybe we can have the courage to change the things we can, which is ourselves, our attitudes, our perceptions, and our actions, and wisdom to know the difference. 
one day at a time. So keep coming back. It works if you work it. And then so um, therefore, if you're still here, I'm going to go ahead and pull a card. Um, yep. Work is kind of a little stressful with goals and not meeting them and hearing that like, you know, our store isn't doing that great. It's kind of making me worry again. And um, I think about the, the people that work there and, um, but also like, what does that mean? Like, what does all this mean? You know, I know that's all so deep and dark, but with um, the, the, let's see, what else is causing any of that? I think planetarily is the, um, is with um, Virgo is where the sun is. So that's, you know, looking at things and disciplining, you know, like, like your daily things and your health and, and um, your your goals and your chores. And I guess this that all makes sense about like what like I'm feeling and I'm I'm sensing in, in the universe and it's playing out in my life that way. And um, you know, Mars is in also in in Virgo and um, you know, so that's about, you know, you know, acting in a diligent way. And um maybe my expectations and um, you know, there's, I have expectations for myself and my, um, my kids. Right. And so with that said, you know, I have to see that my kids are not an extension of me. They're individuals and um, it'll play out how it plays out. And um, it's just hard to sense how I'm actually feeling. Yeah. So I need to do work on that. All right. So here we are. We have the Empress card again. Um, it seems like I keep pulling the same cards um, the last couple of days. So Empress, again, ego, art, productivity, you know, Taurus, earth, Venus. So things you love, wanting to be productive. Maybe it's, um, I can, I can, for me, I can dig myself into my art some more so that I can have this understanding of the feelings that are going on with me. And how about you? Like, are you feeling these? How is it coming up for you? I'd like to know. So, um, also, if you're interested in a reading, send me an email. I would love to uh, do a uh, an astrology reading for you and a tarot reading. And then also, um, coming up shortly, we're getting uh, along towards the end of the of this month. We're going to be on the third. We have um, we have a step meeting on zoom so you can participate with that as well so please like and subscribe if you haven't already comment and share this channel with someone who may um, benefit okay so very good i love you guys and i will be here tomorrow god willing and um that's it i love you <laughs>